why is it important in D&D for something to be challenging? Because that seems like something that I'm always trying to balance myself as a DM, is if it's too easy, they start to feel like they have plot armor, which I guess players do, but you do want them to feel fear, to feel the joy of those moments when you, they do succeed, and it's always a balancing act. So I think it's important for there to be a range of difficulty in a campaign. We talk about this a bit in the Dungeon Master's Guide, where it's actually good if occasionally a struggle is on the easier side for the player characters, and then other ones are terrifyingly difficult. And challenge rating is in the game to help DMs get a sense of how challenging, it's in the name, a particular creature might be when it goes up against a group of a particular level. Right. Now, really, challenge rating is there also for what I refer to as the TPK check. <laughs> it, its main function, right. really and truly, is for DMs to have a sense before the, the session starts, is this going to TPK my group? It's not going to tell you that, you know, 100% every time, but right. it's going to give you a sense. Uh, I bring that up because challenge rating is not meant to be a, a confining, restricting thing on a DM's creativity. If a DM wants to have a group face creatures that have challenge ratings much lower than the player character's level or much higher, DM, go for it. What the challenge rating, though, is telling you is if the creature's number is way higher than the group, it's going to be dangerous. Right. And DM, you need to be prepared for that. Uh, maybe, you know, it's, it's not going to be a scene where the creature tries to slay the player characters, but just sort of scare them a bit and then leave. Or maybe the player characters will need some help from NPCs or uh, help from the environment. On the flip side, if you really want them to meet these creatures with a much lower challenge rating, that's fine. That can often be a, a satisfying encounter, but know that because the challenge rating is much lower, it's likely to be super easy. And so then make that encounter not about the fight itself and about something maybe you'll learn or a conversation that you might end up having with those lower CR creatures. Uh, because combat isn't just about fighting, right. it's also about what you can learn about each other. Also, sometimes a fight can just end when the people realize, wait, why are we fighting? Let's have a conversation. Uh, I often like to give the advice, too, of DMs keep the story going. Uh, whatever the challenge rating is, keep the story going right. because the NPCs can uh, and foes can say things during the fight that can drop important nuggets about the plot uh, that can reveal things about the NPCs or the villains' personalities uh, that can uh, drop seeds of future quests for the player characters. The environment itself is also a factor. So even if, let's say, you want to have low CR creatures, maybe that's because the environment is actually the main danger in the particular encounter. Right. Maybe the, the volcano that is in the process of erupting, <laughs> right. that's the actual danger. The, you know, the, the methods you have there really are, might be there as a kind of distraction so that then the player characters have to decide how much are we going to engage with these little creatures versus focusing on getting away from the lava that's erupting out of that vent on, on in the rock wall. Like, like running into boggles on the cliff face. Probably not the best. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, also, like, some monsters are maybe going to give up after half their hit points are gone. <laughs> like yes. Some, some people don't just fight till the last hit point. <laughs> yes, yeah. And... Uh, DMs can find, too, that uh, they, have, they have options at their disposal if the fight is not playing out in a way that they think will be the most fun for their players. And that can go in either direction. Sometimes a fight can be too easy and the players will seem bored by it, or it can be too hard and the players seem frustrated by it. DMs just remember that the players don't know what's in the monster stat block. Uh, you can just make 
hit points vanish, but also, and this is critical, uh, a tip I bring up often, remember that the hit points printed in a monster, those are its average hit points. Right. In parentheses next to the hit points, there's how those hit points were calculated with the monster's hit dice as well as uh, any contribution to the hit points from the monster's constitution modifier. DM, you can look in that parentheses and use that as a guidance to give the monster more hit points or fewer hit points. Right. And you can even do that on the fly during an encounter. Uh, and so that's a critical uh, DM tool for adjusting difficulty on the fly. If again, you're finding this fight's going on too long or it's going by too fast, you can adjust monster hit points as well as also the damage that monsters are dealing that number that's usually printed for a monster, uh, just like the hit points, the number has right, parentheses. Yeah. The damage also has a parentheses after it, showing you uh, the dice that you can roll, uh, as well as any uh, modifiers that are contributing to the monster's damage. You could roll instead of using the static damage number, or you could just pick a number that is in the range represented by that die roll and any of the modifiers that are applied to it. Right. Uh, so DMs have these tools that, even with you know challenge rating, which is is really just a guide. It's a it's it's a sniff test for you in advance of like again, is this going to TPK the group? Uh, you have that guide, but then you also have these tools in play to adjust a monster, always with the goal of creating a play experience that's fun for you as the DM and fun for your players, and fun can often mean terrifying. <laughs> uh, and then also sometimes the players are more in the mood for uh, sort of an easy victory. Uh, and I get that because all of us sometimes, you know, given what might be going on in our daily lives, sometimes when we come to D&D, we want a big challenge and we want a problem to solve. But other times we come to D&D and we're just like, please just make this easy. <laughs> <laughs> I need to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> That yeah. makes perfect sense. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Yeah, my pleasure. Always great to talk to you. If you liked this interview and you'd like to see more, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell symbol so you're notified anytime a video like this comes out. Thank you so much for watching.